beautiful. That's so beautiful. It really is gorgeous. Captures the whole spirit. Now, when did you get started painting? Uh, well, I was actually born in Russia to Canadian parents who are living and working there. And I had a Russian nanny who noticed that I didn't want to color in coloring books that well-meaning grandmas had sent over from Canada. I wanted to do my own pictures and drawings. So she spent many afternoons with me drawing and painting with bright colored temper paints. And it was around the age of five that my parents and her started to see that I had a, a special gift for art. Now, when did you have your first public exhibition? Well, when we moved back from Canada, a local artist discovered me in a midweek club, invited me over to her studio, and started passing on to me her scales and chalk pastels and acrylics, and booked me for my first exhibition when I was 11. And uh, since then, I've had over 20 exhibitions and sold upwards to 60 originals. And this original painting, which is for you, Boris. Thank you. Well, it's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. It's a Russian folktale, and Prokofiev is a Russian composer, so you must feel really at home with this. Oh, yeah, definitely. In the Russian language, it was known as Pitya i Volk, and that's how I knew it. My Russian nanny would read me the story. What do you mind? And it was a Nyashina. Good. Uh, and the, the orchestra, the music was such a big part of the, the Russian culture, so naturally it's a perfect fit, and we love to listen to classical music. You have a lot of budding young artists here. What advice would you have for them? Uh, I just would say the same thing as a, a famous mentor of mine, Robert Bateman, told me. He said, just paint your little heart out. He said, continue drawing, uh, creating, painting. You know, somebody may be making Lego structures. Just keep creating art. Have fun with it. Thank you so much. It's a great pleasure. All of you are going to leave. Thanks, Josh, so much. Thank you.